Okay, so it is 11 o'clock at night, and this is the first opportunity I've had to do this today. Hashtag stay at home mom life. But I did get a request um, to do like a short demo on how I wrap my um, flower bundles. So I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration on how I do that. Um, I was gonna show y'all how I put the bouquet together, but um, I am I needed to do bouquets for tomorrow anyways, so I'm gonna um, legitimately do my bouquet. So this is the bouquet that I'm doing for tomorrow. This is my recipe, um, so to speak. And this is a $5 bunch that I offer. Normally I do um, anywhere from two to four focal flowers and then two to three um, accent flowers and then foliage. I have no accent flowers for tomorrow. So I am doing four focal flowers. They are all the pro cut orange foam flowers. And then I'm doing about eight pieces of foliage. So. My customers will be getting four sunflowers for five dollars so that's an amazing price um, so they get a little bit more bang for their buck because I don't have any accent or filler flowers so four pro cut orange and then there's about seven or eight pieces of filler foliage which is all from bushes in my front yard um, and I, one is Indian Hawthorne and the other one is um, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but it's like Inumus Jap Japonica or something like that. But um, both of these I absolutely love. They're super full. So you can see it makes four flowers look like a substantial bouquet. So this is my bunch. And what I'm gonna do is now trim off the stems. So I'll just do all that on camera for you guys. Now this video is primarily for a flower farming group that I'm in, so I know you guys know how to trim stems, but I'm just putting them up here for demonstration purposes. So this is what the end result looks like of the bouquet, and then I'm going to tie it up with a rubber band. And I just wrap my rubber bands around three times. I hold my bouquet upside down. Here's the bouquet, it's super cute. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the paper wrap. So I'm gonna set this down. So the paper wrap that I use is this brown craft paper. This is from Home Depot. Um, my husband picked it up for me and it's less than $4 a roll, I know that for sure. This is what it looks like when it's first open. I'm sorry, my dishwasher just kicked on, so hopefully you guys can still hear me, but um, it is nine inches tall by 60 yards long. It's general purpose masking paper, and it says easy mask. This is what the label looks like. I don't know if it'll focus, but this is what the label looks like people do on YouTube. But my hand is nowhere near big enough. Okay, but this is what it looks like. So, I'll show you guys how I cut it. And what I do, let me um, adjust the camera angle first and then I'll show you how I cut the paper for the wrap. Okay, so I take my paper so I take my paper and I roll it out um, 26 inches and the reason why I have that number is sheerly because 26 inches is the length from this edge of my table to this 
there's a line right here. Let me adjust my camera. There's a line right here on my dining room table and it's 26 inches long and so I just picked that so that my papers could be consistently um, even a consistent length and that length actually ended up working really great for my bunches so I roll it out 26 and a half either 26 or 26 and a half inches I can't remember what I said It is 26 and a half inches. So I roll out the paper 26 and a half inches. And then I use my pinking shears. And I'm using pinking shears because these were the sharpest scissors in my house. And then I'm going to cut um, the length of the paper. So this is 26 and a half inches long, and then I'm going to cut a second one the same exact length. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is take one of the pieces of paper, and I'm going to kind of fold it in half into a V shape like this. So I try to just make sure that these corners are even, and then I crease it at the bottom. Then I take my folded piece of paper and put it over um, the regular piece of rolled out piece of paper, and I fold it up like this in half. So that's super simple because my bunches are a little bit shorter um, I didn't need the full length of this and obviously didn't want to spend the time to cut each of these this width you can if you want your paper to last a super long time but I like the sturdiness of it just folded in half and I like the look of um, the V shape here and then I take my bunch and I purposefully don't put as don't put any flowers at the back here so that I can lay this into my paper like so and then I <clears throat> pull it up around the bottom like this and I kind of just make sure it's not bunched up in the back so I kind of just adjust it how I need to bring it so that the papers are touching like this and then I just take a piece of tape and tape it here. If you have a stapler it'd be much easier to just staple it here but I just have tape. So then I tape right here at the base of the wrap. So then it looks like that. And then I take whichever side's a little bit longer. I fold it down like this. And then bring it together. Like this, and you could staple here. 
piece of tape. And then I have these locally grown stickers that I got from my local farmer's market to put on my um, produce. So then I just stick that to the bucket. And it um, kind of has this little gap here, which I don't mind because it gives a little bit of extra room so that the flowers don't get crushed. But this is the final result. And if the little bulge bothers you, you always can take another piece of tape. And tape it closed. It does not normally take me that long to wrap a bouquet, but that's the first time I've ever done it on camera. So, yeah. Um, and then if there's any like kind of like bumps or anything you don't like, you can kind of just shift those. But yeah, this is how it looks. And then have this much stem exposed. So then I just take my bucket and set my bouquet in the bucket. And I just make sure my, um, I just make sure that the water level is high enough to reach the stems, but low enough so that it doesn't get the paper wet. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the bouquet looks like in the water. And I don't know if you can see, you can't really see in there, but the stems are in the water, but the paper is staying dry. And then the bouquets just sit in the water and I put them, I put, I can fit two bouquets in each of these buckets. I think these are just the standard like forest size um, buckets. But this is what they look like. And I just put them on my um, flower stand like this. And you can always come through and just make sure that none of the petals are getting crushed. But yeah, it showcases the bouquet and then helps protect it for the customer whenever they take it home. And I just put out plastic grocery bags for them to carry it in. And so far, everyone's been good with that. So I hope this helps. feel free to just post them in the comments below sometimes it takes me a few days or a week or a couple weeks to um, respond to comments but um, I will get to them so um, yeah and I've never said this before in a video but if you liked or appreciated the information in this video then feel free to give it a thumbs up and also, um, if you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate that as well. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, keep learning and keep growing.